out with me today in the trailer. I am working on installing a new curtain that separates the bedroom from the main area of the camper. I found a new truck. So when I started doing all the renovation stuff, I took off the ceiling track. See how there's nothing on that white ceiling you're seeing? Okay, so I took that off uh, cause I just, I hated the curtain and I was like, we don't really need it. It's not that big of a deal. The kids are hanging out in their bunks. You know, if we're all in the trailer, if I'm getting dressed, I can do it in the corner, blah, blah, blah. But um, Brandon was thinking it would be nice to have it. So I found curtaintracks.com. Not sponsored, just found it. Found two different cool tracks. Uh, one of them is, can I get it on the side of the camera? That'd be super. Um, okay, this has the little sliding thing on it. So uh, you install it. <laughs> this is really fun to do with uh, one hand, one camera, <laughs> and you're getting dizzy. Um, yeah, and it doesn't, it's, it's bigger than the width of the trailer. So, okay, what I'm trying to say is that it has an edge on this side that you screw into the ceiling. And then it has this little track. If I could only do it with one hand, that'd be super. Okay. So, see how that works? So, you sew your curtain on here. Then you put this bad boy back on the track. And you have your little ceiling mounted track curtain. So Okay, so I kind of lost track. The thing that was um, kind of sucky <laughs> is that I bought one navy and one gray and I was thinking, oh, there will be plenty of time and when I get them in, I will just check and see which color I want and then buy one or two more of the one that I need because clearly I need two to go to span this little space. But I have one. So for now, I'm going to sell one and it'll cover a good amount of space uh and it'll be fine so in fact you know it might just be better because it'll cover up to about it'll go about that wide so there will still be a space for brandon to walk by in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom without opening or closing the curtain which might get me some more z's so that sounds dandy maybe we'll just stick with the short curtain okay so, so i'm gonna set that on the track and I'm not gonna sew it on the track. I'm gonna sew it on the, the little strip with the clips that go on the track. The track goes on the ceiling. So, bear with me. Um, hang out for a few minutes and we're gonna knock this thing out in super speed. That's the plan anyways. Okay, we are ready. I think. It's been a while since I sewed, but I think it just kind of stays with you. Like riding a bike, right? I hope this works, guys. If not, we're not having a curtain. Simple as that. Go. There we go. Backstitch. Oh, that sounds like a tangle. Oh yeah, this is not going well. I forgot to lower the pressure foot. <laughs> it's been a minute since I sewed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, that probably looks horrendous on the front. And I didn't even line up with my little clips. This is going beautifully. That friend is outside. He was like, hey, I've never seen you sew before. And I was like, oh man, it's fun. And now I'm like, uh, just like that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I keep going. We can trim that off afterwards. I'm sure that's the best solution. Here we go. important things like checking the bearings on the trailer tires. I'm making a curtain. It's called balance. Hey, that doesn't look horrible. I mean, that first part, it does. 
<sighs> we'll get it out. Ready to get this bad boy up. I don't think I showed you. I'm so, so sorry. There it is. Okay, super exciting, right? Okay, well, here's the screws. Um, it had this just markings on it from probably in transit with the little metal one that I bought also. So I turned that to this side so the track is on the common area side. Uh, I did not put these screws in back yet. It is flexible and I'm thinking that I want the curtain to actually rest here, like behind the couch where there's space instead of here where there's no space. So, uh, at least for walking. So anyways, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. As suspected, it covers basically just that partial wall. And yes, this was a <laughs> grommeted curtain and I figured that would be great for weight. So indeed, it, it holds it down nicely. All right, just a quick update. I didn't want you losing any sleep, wondering what I did. Uh, again, please don't criticize my sewing. I know it's terrible. <laughs> I, uh, I added one more clip from the old curtain on there. I put a little cabinet door bumper on there because these, of course, slip. <laughs> all the rest of them are snug. So of all places to have one that's slippy, it's on the end, but it's fine. So I cut the stuff here, the track, and that way it hangs on the front. I preferred that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add a curtain back because I thought it would just kind of close up the space, but I think it's dandy. And now we'll have a little privacy as needed. So that's it. It was a very unimportant project, but nice to do. If you want to replace your truck, know that uh, they're out there. Curtain-trucks.com. Uh, can hook you up. There was all different kinds. I just kept... and this was exactly the same thing, same clips. So um, if I wanted, if you wanted to change like your shower curtain one, because we have the same plastic track in the shower. So I hope you liked it. Hope it gave you a few tips, or it was just pure entertainment. Um, God bless. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have the opportunity. Thanks. Bye bye. If you'd like to see more projects that we did on the renovations for our travel trailer, please check out this playlist right here.